So in this video, we're going to create an entry point. An entry point is a custom file that you create that you register with Sweet CRM, which then you can write, I mean, run in order to write to Sweet CRM, uh, get data and do all kinds of uh, custom tasks. So the very first thing that we'll do is we'll actually create the file that will be uh, doing stuff. In this case, we'll put the, we'll use this example file, which was um, inside the sugar CRM 6.5 tutorial, which I highly recommend. It contains plenty of examples. And in the specific case, what we'll be doing is we'll be enabling the dump slow queries. Um, so this will show us queries which take a lot of time to execute. So what we'll do is we'll create this simple file here. The examples contained in that documentation. And then we'll have to register this file. So in essence, what we're doing is we're telling uh, sweet CRM that hey uh, this entry point is legit we can use it we can run it so the way that we do it is we create a registry file that looks like this in here we put uh, the entry point name don't use underscores use camel case for some reason with underscores it doesn't work uh, and then it we supply the array which looks like this so it looks like file then we put the path of where this file is, this specific file, I'll put it in the um, inside the custom folder, folder called custom, and then authentication is true. It means that we have to authenticate in order to run this entry point. So this specific file, we need to put it in the, in the folder called um, X entry point. This actually the, the proper path is here. So custom extension application X, X, um, entry point registry. You may not have this folder, it's normal, so just create it. So go there and then paste the file that you created. So the file that does the actual registration of your um, of your entry point. And of course, don't forget to upload your, uh, uh, your entry point also. So we're going to upload the file. It's called Disable Dump Slow Queries. Then what we're going to do is do a quick rebuilt of the system. So we go to the admin section, then we'll go to the repair section, then we'll go to quick repair and rebuild. It's going to rebuild the whole system. And then what's uh, next for Sweet CRM is to create uh, this entry inside the system, which it's going to put in this folder. So the folder is custom application X entry point this. So be careful, this file gets created only once from what I can see. And then this file will contain all your uh, future entry points that you register with the system. So if you have several entry points, they will be written to this file. They will, they will not create one registry per new entry point. So let's open it up and see. And here is the file. So as you can see here, it's the auto-generated file. So it gets regenerated every time. And if we look at the at the entry, it's basically what's here was written here underneath. So this entry point is now legit. We can execute it. And the way that we execute it is by running the following query. So we put the URL of your website, index, question mark, entry point, and then the name of the entry point as it is written here. So not this, but this we're going to execute it and then it does what it's supposed to do it's uh, it's modifying it to false um, and then it's outputting the results that it's now in fact false and then we can do another test so we have here another entry point I just named it custom entry point but it actually disables this option um, and we can put it here entry point and the value is one so we just enabled it so if you found the video at all helpful, uh, please leave a like and subscribe since I'll be creating more of these videos in the future. Thank you.